there, my name is Lance Carter and I have been in the specialty running triathlon business uh, from 1994 through now. Uh, 22 of those years in specialty running stores uh, where we also did triathlon products and rented and sold wetsuits and in that time uh, learned some great tips about how to get a wetsuit on easier. Uh, whenever it's your first time trying on a wetsuit, it's very common for you to think that the wetsuit doesn't fit. Um, but for myself, I wear a blue 70 size medium and I'm usually at the top of the weight range. I weigh 183 pounds. Uh, I believe the weight range goes up to about 185, 186. So I'm going to show you just some quick tips about uh, how I put on my wetsuit. Alright, let's get started. So you don't necessarily need these, but some people like to use a plastic bag. It can help get your get your feet and your hands through. I'm gonna do one each way. So the first one, make sure the zipper goes in back. Um, I can't tell you the number of times that people have come out of the dressing room with the zipper in front. So you can see it's a plastic bag that goes on nice and easy. So get rid of the plastic bag. Now I'll use, without it, goes on pretty easily as well too. Now one tip that I like to give people when we are renting them suits and selling them suits is get the calf up kind of high. So you don't want to leave the suit down here like that. What's going to happen if you don't get the suit all the way up is you're going to feel really tight in the chest. So get this, I like to say maybe a good inch or two above your ankle bone. And you can see what I do with the suit is I fold it back down. That way if you go up just about an inch or two, it'll pop right up. One mistake that people make is they get the suit as they're pulling it up and all these folds are pulling, pointing upward like this. And then what happens is they go to pull the suit and it gets caught, the rubber sticks on itself. So get the rubber pointed down, okay? Same thing on this one. I wanna get the ankle up high before I start pulling the suit up and then you notice I fold it down. Now the inside of the suit is much durable than the outside of the suit. So you can grab a little bit more firm on the inside of the suit. The other thing is don't grab your fingers like this and pull, instead roll a wrinkle into it, have the pads of your fingertips almost like this, but pointing towards each other, so then you can grab the suit. That way you're much less likely to nick the suit, okay? So what we're gonna do is just work that up into the knees. I'm gonna stand up, probably have to get a different camera angle here. All right, so we're starting to work it up around the knees. Now this is the inside of the suit. So I'm gonna bring the inside of the suit up. And again, the inside of the suit, you can grab the suit a little bit firmer. Now, we wanna make sure that the crotch here is all the way up. And one mistake that a lot of people make is they'll try to grab the suit here and try to pull seven, eight inches at a time. Instead, really just try to work the suit up literally about an inch at a time, because it's gonna be a lot more comfortable at the end result, okay? So all the way, before I even start to put an arm in, I'm working the suit up, folding it down, again, getting it up into my hips and my crotch as much as possible. So I'm back here, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll grab the suit and I'll just kind of do a squat, squat down in it. And again, inside the suit, more durable so you can pull it a little bit harder, okay? I can still feel I have a little bit of space here, so what I wanna do before I go really any further is bring this up. So I'm gonna go down here, bring it up a little bit, keep going until I really feel like the suit is as high as it's gonna go, because trust me, especially with the full suit, the higher you get it up into the hips, the much better off you're gonna be, okay? So getting it all the way in the back here. And then for me, what I like to do with the full suit especially, is work this up and really get it all the way to my rib cage, okay? So I'll bring it up here. Now, I usually like to put my watch hand in first. Um, again, if you want, you can use the bag technique. So help slide your arm through. And I'll pop in there pretty quickly. Now, pretend that you have a watch on. Same thing with the ankles. If you leave the cuff way down here, it's gonna be really tight in the shoulder. So, again, pretend you have a watch on. 
pull that up so it's a little bit higher. And same thing here. As I fold, uh, pull, pull the fold back down and then just go about an inch or two at a time and work it up like that. Don't try to move the suit, you know, five inches at a time. And then the other mistake people make is they'll get about here and they'll try to stick their other arm in and they'll get, they'll get stuck. So instead, let's get this arm all the way up into the shoulder girdle, really as much as possible before we start putting the other arm in, okay? Okay, so that arm is nice and high. The other thing I like to do when the suit's pretty tight, sometimes I'll lick my hands, but get a nice flat palm on the rubber. This way, there's a little less tendency to create a little fingernail tear, which are repairable and you'll get over time. Okay, so this is nice and high on this side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the other arm in. I kinda like that bag technique, so I'm gonna grab the bag, slide my hand through. Get rid of the bag. Okay, same thing. Tend to have a watch on so I can get that sleeve up a little taller. You can see all these are going up. And so what I wanna do is I wanna fold those back down. That way, lick the fingers, grab some rubber. It'll come up much easier, okay? So pull it up and fold the rubber back down. And then pull it up there, fold down. And I can feel these wrinkles here, so I'm gonna flat palm it and pull it into my armpit. Get it as high as possible. Okay, so that's pretty much the suit. After you have it on, what we always like to have people do is go back to the midsection, bend over, and pull the suit off, and then work the suit up. Because this way, you get the suit up as high as possible into the collarbone, and it's gonna feel much better through the shoulders. And then even after I get it on, and I get it zipped up, then I still wanna go back and I'll, I'll just go back through and I'll work my suit up with my flat palm so I don't nick it. And I'll put my hand up here and work it into the armpit. And in a, in a race or even a, a practice swim, I'll actually go swim 10, 15 strokes and then I'll um, bring the suit up a little more so I have full range of motion in the shoulders. I'll do the same thing in the water back here. I'll grab the butt, flat palm, and I'll pull it up to get it up into the low back. All right, so that's some couple tips about putting on your wetsuit. Have a great swim.